tutorial on this witch broom embellishment. And we are going to be featuring items from both ScrapDivaDesigns.com and HappyCrafterShop.com. Okay, guys? You can use my code Poochie 10 on both of these sites to save 10% off your entire purchase. Okay? So these are super simple to make and super fun. I already make a pink one here. I've got a black one started that we're going to um, embellish together. And I think we're going to make another... Um, pink one so let's go ahead and get started first off let's go ahead and create this embellishment here and this embellishment was created using scrap diva designs a couple of her dies the spider um bow die to be exact i'm obsessed with this die i've been making so many different embellishments and stuff this spider is just so cute to me and i'm loving 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 this spider web hi lisa so this is really easy to make, you guys. You're going to need, um, I use the smaller of the two. You're going to get two sizes with these dies, the, both the web and the spider. One is the large, this is the smaller one. So I've went ahead and I've cut out, hold on one second, guys. Thank you, baby, shut the door. I've cut out a spider in the pink color. Let me just poke it out been in bed all day hey girl i know i bet it has been a long week it's been a long week for us too over here so here goes our beautiful spider it's just so cute guys i'm usually not into creepy spiders but this one this year i'm really digging it okay so then we have um this cut out and you're only gonna need half of that piece so i went ahead and i cut half and you are going to just glue this together so i'm gonna put a little bit of glue This is one of my design team videos, guys. So make sure that you run to these shops and you snatch whatever it is that you like while they have it because things tend to sell out very quickly on both sites. Okay. So we have that there. And then we're going to pretty it up by adding our um, flowers. This is from Scrap Diva Designs um, Romantic Vintage Tags set. And it comes with these cute flowers. You guys know I've been playing with them all month long. So let's go ahead and glue that together. And this is the smaller size, the smallest size of those flowers. Okay. So I'm going to offset it. And I have a tutorial on making some of these flowers using Happy Crafter Shops. Her the little balls, which are these. I think she restocked the pink ones, guys. So if you didn't get a chance to get these, you better run and snatch them now. I've been making so much of these. I've used all the pink ones. So I'm just going to do a little bead of glue in there. Ooh. And then I'm going to um, drop some of these pink balls in there. I'm going to let that glue set a little bit. And then I'm going to start to mold my little flower, my little uh, pink ball center. Okay. So there goes our flower. I think the flower just like softens the spider up because spiders tend to be so creepy. And I'm just going to glue it like right there. Hi, Sandra. Guys, I'm so sorry. I meant to do this live yesterday, but I was just so exhausted yesterday. I just really could not do it. Um, and my kids were keeping me pretty occupied. By the time it was nighttime, it was like already one in the morning and I was just exhausted. I could not. So please forgive me for that. Make sure you guys are subscribed um, to my channel and make sure that you're signed up to get notifications so you don't miss any of my lives. Unfortunately... I can't like schedule things like I would want to, like, you know, like every Thursday or whatnot. I can't do that with the kiddos. All right. And then to add another touch, we're going to add some to. Oh, nice. We're going to add. I just got so many things on my desk right now. It's ridiculous. We are going to add some tool to add another soft touch to the spider because, again, spiders are creepy. And I want to pretty up and soften up the spider. So I'm going to use some of this pink tool. And I'm just going to cut a little piece. This 
is probably too much. I went ahead and made a black one right here. Yes, girl, I love it. The spider is so cute. It's still a creepy spider, but it's like a pretty creepy spider, you know? All right, guys, I'm just dropping things everywhere. So we're going to add our tool. This is probably too big of a piece. Yeah, let me trim this down. Well, actually, we could fold it. And you are just going to kind of like pleat it a little bit. I'm going to cut this in half, guys. I don't want it too thick. I want it to be a soft touch. So you guys can make this as thick or as thin as you like. So I'm just going to fold it over like this. Kind of fan it out like you would do a rosette. Just like so. And then I kind of twist it on the bottom. And then I glue it. So it's just going to give it a nice little soft touch. You probably can barely see that, but I can see it. You know what? I'm going to double this, even though I said I wasn't. I want it to show very well. So let's double this. I'm going to go ahead and use both pieces. And I think I'm going to staple it as well. So pleat it like you do your rosette, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and twist it a little bit and staple it. Just like so. And then I'm going to attach it to the back of our spider. So I'm going to put it on the opposite end. One end is going to have our die cut spider web. And the other side is going to have this pink tool poking out. So I'm just going to glue that to the back. Like so. And this is a really cute, Titania, this is a really cute embellishment to add to your Halloween projects, guys. I've been obsessed with this little spider and making like little whatever's with it. So I'm going to trim this in the back. We don't need all that it's poking out. You could have it poking out. It's totally up to you. I kind of like the look of the paper on one side and the tool on the other. So there goes our little spider embellishment that we're going to use for the top of our broom. All right. Now to do the broom, the witch's broom with the tool, you're gonna need a straw, okay? Coordinate it to whatever project, whatever collection, however you wanna do it, coordinate to um, your color scheme. So I'm gonna take this pink striped one, and if you are um, curious, I got this pack from Michaels recently. Um, so you're gonna grab that, you're gonna grab your tool again, and you are going to make a bunch of cuts. On your tool, you're going to take a tool uh, piece and you're going to fold it over like so. Okay. Hey, Gail. And you can decide how long you want your tool. I like this because I can go a little higher on the, you know, the straw. So you guys know I'm not, I'm not about that measuring life. Once you cut out one piece and you kind of like, you know, the length... Just use that to measure if you like. And just cut a bunch of them. Let's see how many we'll cut. You don't need too many because it thickens up pretty good. That's four pieces. Let's do six just so. And I suggest making it a little longer just in case you want to cut it shorter. You know what I mean? You have that leeway. make sure you guys can see well and i can see the chat all right so we're gonna take our squares or rectangles or whatever shape we're gonna fold that in half and we're just gonna keep on doing that guys and we're gonna put them side by side okay just like that and you can mix your colors you can get like a striped effect by doing one black one pink one orange, whatever color, just keep on doing that. 
Fold that in half. So yeah, you probably want to measure this. Thank you, Gail. And I'm just going to keep on gathering these to create my broom. You see that already is a little fluffy, but I'm going to use all six of these. So it really depends on the tool you use and all that good stuff. This is just a little guideline. Thank you, guys. Hope I don't ruin them because I just did them not too long ago. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to put them all together like so. And I'm going to actually cut one more piece because I'm going to tie it with it. I'm actually going to use the some ribbon. Okay, so then you're going to take your straw and you are going to place it in the middle and kind of gather your tool like this, guys. And put your straw in the middle. You got like nail polish there. Hold on, guys. Because that's going to bug me. Okay, it's kind of hard to keep this together. Let's do this again. I suggest doing it longer so that you don't have to worry about it falling out of your hands. These are from Michael's. So you, I know you guys have tons of pretty colors. Imagine the possibilities with all the different colors. I did do some black one, a black one I'll show you guys. And we're creating the pink one now. Okay. So just like that, I'm gonna take my straw, put it in the middle and I'm going to grab some string, and in this case, ribbon. Hi, Mari. And I'm going to tie this onto my stick, my straw. And you guys don't have to use a straw. Straws are cool to use because they're already decorated. You know what I mean? You can use a wooden stick and paint it to the color you like. All right, so I'm trying to hold it together while I tie them here. There we go. So you're gonna tie your tool and I'm gonna adjust this because I have some like a little too far up. Just like that. Once you got it tied really well, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Just to really get it on there in case it comes loose, but it's not gonna come loose. Just like that, guys, okay? Look at how cute. Let's move some of this stuff out the way. <laughs> the avalanche. Hold on, guys. I swear, it would not be one of my videos if something doesn't happen. An avalanche doesn't happen or I can't find something. Let me see what you asked. Do you put a skewer or another straw in the middle to make it sturdy? No, I don't. Um, It's a pretty lightweight embellishment. If it was really heavy on the bottom, then I probably would. But you don't need it for this uh, embellishment. Everything's pretty lightweight. All right. Let's move some stuff out the way, guys, because I'm knocking stuff down. All right. So there goes our witch broom. And I just took these ends of the string and glue them around to make it more pretty. Hello, everyone coming in. Hi, Tia. This is my design team project for Happy Crafter Shop and Scrap Diva Designs. We're gonna be using products from their shop to create these witch broom embellishments. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and 
tie that around. It's so pretty with the tool, you guys. Put a little bit of glue there. Hi, San. Uh, let's call you Sandra. Hey, Natalie. Just like that it goes our witch broom, and then you can um, you know, cut to your liking. Trim if you didn't measure it correctly, like me. I know I don't like to measure. And there goes your witch broom, okay? So, of course, we have to finish it off with a bow. So, we are going to um, use the same ribbon. Guys, I, I can you believe that I don't have um, black satin ribbon in my stash? I need to get some of that. So, I'm just going to tie a bow. And I'm going to loop a little jump ring in there for our charm. And you see, this is like sticking out a lot. I'll just make that the back of the broom. So let me cut my ends of my tails. And then make sure that you like the ends a little bit so that they don't fray on you. So I just take a jump ring from Happy Crafter Shop and stick it through there. All right, guys. So let me, I got like a bunch of stuff that I might want to play with here from her shop that I might want to include. So bear with me. Let me grab a jump ring. And you need your tools, your jewelry tools. Make sure you guys use these when you are playing with, um, you know, jump rings and stuff like that. So let me grab my tools. And I'm just going to open it a little bit. And feed it through my little bow knot right here. And then once it's in there. And it's I close it correctly. I like to like move it. So that the outs like the opening is underneath the string. I'll show you what I mean. So let's pick out a charm for this one. I did use this charm from Happy, Happy Crafter Shop on this one. She's got some really cute little charms. Um, I think there was a ghosty. Here, let's use the skull one. Will the black throw it off? Let's see. Yeah, I think it'll throw it off a little bit. Let me find another charm. from her. I think I got them in these little things here. But she had some really cute charms on her site. Don't forget to use my code Poochie 10 guys to save 10% off your purchase. You could even um, use her cabochons or any cabochons that you have and add the little bale to create a little charm. That's kind of cute, right guys? Maybe we'll use this. Let me get these little extra edges off here. So let's see if I can loop it on here. This might be a small jump ring for it. Hey, Debbie, what's going on, girl? All right, so I got the ghosty in there and I'm just gonna use my tools to close it. They slide with this round nose pliers sometimes. I gotta get another pair of these other pliers. So close it up really well. You do not want your charm falling off. And different jump rings 
Some are thicker than others. This one's giving me a hard time, guys. But I'm basically trying to close my jump ring. There we go, I think. All right. So once you get it closed, take the end, the opening, and slide it under, conceal it under your ribbon. Just like that. Hi, Linda. Welcome. So if you guys are just joining, I am doing a tutorial. This is a design team project for Scrap Diva Designs and Happy Crafter Shop. All right, and then we're just going to glue that with hot glue. Onto our broom. Isn't that pretty, you guys? So cute. Look at the little ghosty. So cute. All right, and then we're going to take that embellishment that we created. And we are going to place it on our broom. Okay, so I think I'm going to put it, clear some of this off, guys. I think I'll put it like right here. All right, so I'm going to add some glue to the back. I need another glue stick. So these are super fun to make and they're so cute, guys. You can put it in your boo mail. You can do a lot with these little embellishments. You can make them smaller by cutting down your straw. It doesn't have to be a full length straw. So we got our little Scrap Diva Designs embellishment. I'm going to put it like about here. And then I'm going to cut this um, straw down a little bit. And there goes our little witch broom. Isn't it cute, you guys? This is the other one that I made, and I used her other charm. So the charm can make a big difference, you know? It gives it two different looks. But I love the way that these came out. And then let's decorate the black one as well. That's how you put these little broom embellishments together, you guys. I hope that you guys are inspired and you make some. Make sure you tag me so I can share it. But I did a gold broom and I did a um, black tool that I had in my stash with the dots. Really pretty black lace tool. And we are, I already had, I already went ahead and um, did the spider embellishment. So you see, same thing with the half of the spider web, the tool stapled and glued to the back. And then I used glitter foam for the sp actual spider. So let me go ahead. With this one, I want to use um, my Scrap Diva Halloween words. I think this is, I don't even know which one this is, guys. Grab all three sets of her Halloween words because they will come in handy. This one says spiders, and I thought it would be perfect because we have the spider embellishment. And then I put the little ruffle tool, and I put some spider trim from, um, what do you call it? Dollar Tree last year. All right, so this is like a two-for-one um, tutorial, you guys. I'm also going to show you how to make my little pumpkin wands, my beaded pumpkin wands. You guys might have seen these on Instagram and the little short that I created. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's kind of self-explanatory, but we're going to make one together. So you're going to need a eye pin. Okay. And an eye pin has this little loop here, guys. You can also use a head pin, which won't have a loop. I like to have the option of the loop just in case I want to dangle something else on there. You never know. All right. And then you're going to grab these little beads, these little longer beads for the wand. Yes, girl, two for one. So I'll grab some of those. I have them here in my little tree. Let me see how many I put. Three. But you can make yours as long or as short as you like. Okay. We're going to put three. So 
So just bead that on there. It's kind of hard to see because it's both gold, but they're there. And then you are going to grab a bow bead, a smaller bow bead. Thank you, Mama. So there goes three of those longer. I hope you guys can see it well. And then I'm going to grab a bow bead from my stash. I actually got these from Natalie's shop, which is Pretty Mix Studio. It is, should be back up soon, hopefully. So these are from my stash, guys. Everybody's been asking me where these are from. But Happy Crafter Shop also has some bow beads. Girl, I know you did not. Oh, the long ones. So I'm going to go ahead and add my bow bead. Look at how pretty. So cute. And then we're going to add our Happy Crafter Shop bead. But before we do that, we're going to put a bead cap. Because the bead caps just fancy it up. So one bead cap there. Add your circle. And another one that you can use are these. I think I meant to use this one. I don't know. So we'll do the pink one. But this one looks just like a um, pumpkin. Okay. Just like that. And then I added a daisy spacer to fancy it up some more. And you are just going to use your round nose pliers and just roll. Keep on rolling. I know some of you guys used to be professional rollers back in the day. Thank you, Debbie. So you guys can use my code Poochie10 on both these sites, okay? And there goes your pumpkin wands. I'm going to make another one because I think I want to use it on here. I'm not sure. Let's do another one. So again, grab your longer beads. And I have these in black, so you can get these at Hobby Lobby. That's where I bought mine. <laughs> okay. Hi, baby. How are you, my love? So there goes two. Let me find one more. Let me grab one more. I kind of don't want to do another one. So three of these longer beads. Okay, let me grab another one of those bow beads. I'm running low on those. Oh my God. I have a stash of them somewhere packed up. I don't know where it is. And I'm almost used all these that I just found in my stash. Okay, so we'll add our bow bead next. You guys have a lot of bobies in your stash. If you don't have these, these are a throwback. And we're going to use one of our pumpkin beads. And let me grab a bead cap because, again, the bead caps just, you know, give it a little something extra. Make sure you use the appropriate size. Okay, I just got stuff everywhere right now, guys. I wanted to make a dangle using these letters too. We'll do that. All right, you're going to grab your pumpkin bead. First, grab your bead cap. And then your pumpkin bead. So you see smaller bead, smaller bead cap. And you're going to do the exact same thing. Okay, cute little pumpkin wand. Isn't that adorable, you guys? And I'm going to finish it off with a jump ring, uh, daisy spacer. Okay. And you're just going to roll. Roll, roll, roll. And then roll that one 
nicely. Okay, let me clip off this little end. Clip that little end off. So guys, I have a to, uh, playlist. Down. I'm going to link it down below for you guys on my Happy Crafter Shop videos and my Scrap Diva Designs videos. Definitely check out those Happy Crafter Shop ones so you can um, be inspired with these bees and cabochons on things you can do with it. Oh no, don't go too, too hard guys because you will bust it. I just busted a piece of it. A little piece of it broke off. So be careful with that, all right? So here goes... Why am I touching this one? I'm working on this one. What's wrong with me? So here goes our pumpkin little wand. And I got to see if I want to jingle it here. So we're going to do our embellishment here in the middle. And then we'll have our spider up top. But let me figure out what I want to do, you guys. Because I, I put a jump ring here to go ahead and put charms and stuff and beads. So, let me think. We could do this wand here and then do the skull here. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, guys, so this is a great way to use your sentiments, your word dies, okay? I'm trying to find new ideas and new ways to use these word dies because we have a lot of them. If you grabbed all three bundles from Scrap Diva Designs, there's a ton of word and phrases that you can use. So let me open up my jump ring. Hey, Cruz. So I'm going to add my little uh, charm. And I'm going to add the little wand, I guess, pink wand, to my jump ring. And I just punched a hole on the end of this little ruffle trim and added the eyelet so that I could bead whatever I want here. Okay, and then make sure you close this really well because if you don't, it will open on you and your charms will fall off. And we don't want that. Okay, so let me close this off really well. There we go. So this is just a little something extra to add. Look at how cute. All right. Now we can glue this. To our broom. I don't know. Is that wand too much? It might be too big. But we're going to go with it. I'm going to add some hot glue to the back. And I'm going to attach that to my broom. So you can get two different looks. I think I got to turn my charm around the other way, guys. You can get two different looks of these witch brooms. You can go the simple way or you can fancy it up with um, the sentiment, okay? And then we're going to take our little spider embellishment that we made using Happy Crafter Shops. I mean, Scrap Diva Designs um, spider bowl and just glue that on top. Okay. So here's the black one with the word. I don't know. Is it giving still a witch broom, guys? Or is it too much with the word? And then I'm going to add a charm here. I don't want to do double wands. I think I'm going to change these charms up, guys. But I'm going to leave it like this for this video. I think it will look cuter if I did a smaller one or something else. Let me grab her little ghost charm. ready oh you know what we could actually make let's make one of the little candies 
I did share these on Instagram as well. So these are all the, the little beads and stuff that I've been making um, with Happy Crafter Shops items. Here goes the little uh, ghost. The little ghosty, I'll show it to you in a second. Let me grab a, uh, another jump ring. Let me show you how to make these little candies. I ended up making these candies, um, doing another design, design team project. I was just like beating and I was like, ooh, this looks like a candy. So, you're gonna need these little spacer striped spacer beads she has in her shop. And I love that it comes with different colors. You can use the red ones for Christmas. And these are what the candies look like, guys. Don't they look like little candies? Adorable. So grab your jump ring. Not your jump ring, your um your eye pin. Loop one of your striped beads and then go with a daisy spacer. And then grab your solid and do it again. Daisy spacer and top it off with a striped. And then you have a cute little candy. I'm going to go ahead and cut this a little shorter. And you're just going to loop. Roll the end. Just like that. And you have a cute little candy charm, beat a charm. Isn't that cute, guys? Okay. So we need a bow. I already have a black one made here. I don't know. I think this charm is way too big for this one. I'm probably going to switch these charms up, you guys. And let's get our little candy. I already got my jump ring in there. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on and close it off. Probably want to use a bigger jump ring than me. And it won't be so tricky to get it on. But these are all cute little charms you can make with Happy Crafter Shop's beads, guys. Okay. If you grab some stuff from her release. Let me know what you guys grabbed. I hope that her next one is Halloween, too. All right. Let me get this closed somehow. I'm gonna keep going until I get it closed all the way because you do not want this to be opened at all because it will fall off on you. Definitely use a bigger jump ring than me because I'm struggling to get this closed. Almost there. <sighs> Hold on, guys. I gotta get this on. I just, these pliers just went right into my skin. I hurt it. I just cut myself right there. So be very careful. Here, let's make this hole smaller. Let's see if that'll help. So be careful guys, don't hurt yourself.
So you guys let me know what do you think about these brooms. They're super cute by themselves. But again, I think it's cute to add a little word. Let me know how you guys think it looks with the uh, word dies. I just wanted to incorporate. Guys, I'm really struggling getting this on. Let me grab another jump ring. This is too much. I mean, these don't look much bigger. Hmm. That one don't look much bigger to me. Let's see if I can just close it and then we'll add the other jump ring to it. Have it hang off of this. Yeah. I just really want to show you guys how to make these little dangles. I gotta fix that. See, you have to light it or else it'll fray on you. So we'll fix that. So I'm gonna grab this jump ring since my other one's giving me a hard time. And just hang it from there. No, they're from um, Pretty Mix Studio. But they're not available anymore. These are um, some older beads for my stash. Just like that, you guys. Let me fix this bow. You can't be bow hoeing out here in these streets with your bows looking like that, guys. Let me cut this one short, a little shorter. So I can't wait to see them, Gail. So there goes my little... Look at how cute with the little candy. That's adorable. All right. So we'll just glue our bow to the broom. Just like that. I might end up switching this around, guys, and putting the wand here and the candy there. But just so I don't make this video too long, this is what it looks like. Let's move all this out the way. So super cute little pumpkin wands that you can make using your Happy Crafter Shop items. Okay. The little candies we made. And then here goes our witch broom. So we have the black one here. Okay. We got our Scrap Diva spider embellishment on the tip our little word sentiment our little beads from happy crafter shop and then we have our bowl and our tool okay guys so there goes the black one that's like extra or you can go for the simple look and just do your embellishment on the tip add uh whatever you want on the bottom there goes the pink one and then this is my original one. I think this is my favorite. I think the colors go really well. Pastels. And that's it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys for... Um, they're all gorgeous. My favorite one's the black one. Thank you, Mama. You like how the word looks or does it look too busy? I think it's a great way to use up these sentiments in a different way, guys. Because I have a ton of these dyes. I know you guys do too. So I think that's a great way to use them up. You usually get like six or something in a pack. So you can just cut them in one pass and use them for your embellishments. All right. So don't forget to use my code, guys. I will link all the stuff that I mentioned down below in the description box for you guys. Thank you, Bevy. You're so sweet, mama. Um, don't forget to use my code. I will link all the dyes and then I'll link Happy Crafter Shop's um, site so that you can check and see what she has left. But I can't wait to see your guys' witches' brooms. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. Imagine the different colors you can do, the different straws you can use. Bust out those straws from your stash. And again, tag me so I can see your guys' broom. Cute little candy. I don't know. You guys say the black one's your favorite. I think the, the original one is my favorite, this one right here. 
but they're super cute and a super cute way to use um these dyes and all these beads and stuff all right i love you guys and i hope you guys enjoy your day i'll see you in the next video bye